This lecture is going to discuss proteins and amino acids. Proteins are made up of building blocks called amino acids. This is an example of alanine, one of the simplest amino acids in nature. All amino acids have this amine functionality, functionality of a nitrogen with two hydrogens on it that is attached to a carbon, which is alpha or next door to a carboxylic acid functional group. The carboxylic acid functional group has a double bonded oxygen and a hydroxyl group both attached to the same carbon. And this produces a very acidic hydrogen to oxygen bond, which can dissociate easily. Now, in nature, there are about 200 amino acids that occur naturally, but most proteins are made of 20 common amino acids that make up all the proteins in the human body. Now, our bodies have the ability to make most of these proteins, but there are eight that cannot be made, cannot be synthesized. And so we have to get them from our food. Amino acids come together by making what's called a peptide bond. This peptide bond is formed when the amine functionality on one amino acid, let me get a second amino acid drawn on here, when these two peptides come together and coming together, they release a water molecule and end up forming what we call a dipeptide. We end up with a peptide linkage here. A dipeptide is simply two of these amino acids, and it could be any amino acid, any amino acids that come together to form one peptide linkage is called a dipeptide. However, you can make much larger molecules than just one peptide linkage. Small molecules that might have maybe five to 10 peptide linkages or 10 to 20 amino acids in them are called polypeptides. So polypeptides are generally smaller sets of amino acids or polymers of amino acids then you can have large polypeptides that are proteins. Some proteins have hundreds to hundred thousands of amino acids in them. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. Proteins often are what often form enzymes. Enzymes would be the molecules that catalyze most of the reactions in our bodies. So proteins would be the factories, so to speak, the manufacturing centers of the body or cells.